Precision Planning 2020 Seed Sense Monitor. Um, a lot of different things is monitors and controls. You got uh, downforce that monitors here, and you can monitor that across the board. It's a 16 row planner, and so it shows the downforce on each individual row. Uh, I've got D drive on this planner and you can control uh, your seed population right in the cab here. So for soybeans, uh, I got 155,000 in here. Uh, if you want 145,000 or 165,000, it's all done um, right here. You can adjust it uh, right from the cab. Uh, so that's pretty cool over our uh, Kinsey that we had to change sprockets and do all that. And then it's got the Delta Force on here. Um, you got light, heavy, custom, and manual modes. Uh, in tilled soils, standard is uh, standard mode is what I got it in right now. And that's a hundred pound target downforce. And I find that to be good there. Um, Heavy is what I use in uh, no-till, and really that's the only two that I have used so far. This is the second season I've used this planter, and um, so in this field I've planted 48.3 acres of soybeans, and if you want to see a larger map, you press large map there. Maybe. Um, and then uh, it, when you're doing corn it'll show skips and multiples it doesn't show that for soybeans it shows your population here and then down at the bottom you can choose from a bunch of different things between population singulation downforce economic loss good ride good spacing vacuum live seeds delta force uh, or you can auto scroll, which means it goes through everything. I like to run mine on population so I can see exactly what uh, each individual row is planting um, exactly for the population. So this, this graph off the side here, the low is 152,000, the high is 158,000, and there will be a nice bar graph that um, goes across there and shows how close they are. With soybeans, this uh, this planter has got the Case International um, uh, seed sensors and the seed tubes, and they sometimes get confused with dust and talc and stuff like that. Uh, so in the future I hope to upgrade to something like wave vision or something like that that counts only seeds because it's when they start getting you know get a lot of dust or get a lot of talc going especially in the soybeans it's it's a little bit off as to far it, it, it'll tell you it's planting like for example 170,000 and it's not doing that. It's it's planting exactly what you program it to plan at, but the eyes are just miscalculating things a little bit because of the dust or the talc. And then corn, singulation is a big one for corn. That doesn't show up for soybeans, but um, for corn that's that's a big one. And these V-set meters with this electric drive, I'm achieving 99% a lot of the time of singulation. That is really good. Um, our Kinsey that had the uh, finger pickup type meters, they would get like low 90s, which I thought was really good at the time, but to consistently see 99% singulation at seven mile an hour uh, planting corn is just phenomenal. Um, it's, it's just a really good monitor. It's easy to use. You can put your population, or not your population, your variety, and it shows the variety there. Your field number over here, and um, 
Yeah, and then down below, you've got you know, your master plant switch, a uh, section plant, and then your swath uh, control there as well. So, um, really like the monitor. Anybody that doesn't have one that's thinking about getting one, I highly recommend it.